Hello, welcome to our case study. I am the first speaker. My name is Asher Shazwan. You can call me Asher. And the second speaker is Varindran or Vari for short. Uh, the third speaker is Nur Aisha Nabila. You can call her Aisha. And the last speaker is Tengku Alisa Sabrina. You can call her Sabrina. So today we want to talk about the, the discover how to discover suitable computing technologies and professional certifications in IT field. So the first question is, why did I choose to study computer science or information technology? Well, firstly, I believe that computer science and information technology is so fascinating to think about. Like how there will be more advanced software that are being developed and becoming more sophisticated while at the same time making our daily life easier. Try to think about it. So for, sec you know, for the second reason is that uh, for the future, again, I said that computer science will become a big thing soon. Everything will relate to computer science or IT because our generations are becoming more advanced. For example, an AI has been developed and has been uploaded into a computer called Sophia. I know there are some theories where in the future, robots will take over this world and kill all humans like in a sci-fi movie. But we must, look, we must always look at the bright side. We as humans have achieved so such an achievement in this current era. So how about the future? I believe that everyone ha has their own opinions about why they choose their course. So how about you, Vary? Um, well, it has been my passion since I was a little kid. I was quite fascinated on how the computer functions and work. For instance, I used to explore my dad's old laptop and computer by removing the parts of computers such as RAM and hard disk just to explore them. Yes, I did that. My passion towards technology ignited even more when I got my very first smartphone when I was 10 years old, which was a BlackBerry. I used to think how fascinating it was to interact a device by touching the display. Not only that, my BlackBerry that I owned um, had a physical keyboard and even that iconic trackball. So I always wanted to learn and know more about the latest technology and I want to be the part of it. Moreover. I think most of y'all are familiar with Fourth Industry Revolution, which is also known as IR 4.0 for short. Well, IR 4.0 is expected to change how we live, work, communicate. It is also likely to change the things that we value right now and the way we value them in the future. Well, most industries and companies rely on data and software programs. Therefore, computer science and IT graduates impact Everything from scientific research to health development, transport, banking, communication, you name it. Even objects like microwave, ovens, fridge, door locks are now connected to our Wi-Fi networks and personal assistance. So, job opportunities are also the part of the reason why I choose to, uh, why I choose to study computer science as I can be one of them, one of the people who work on innovating technology which will take humanity to the next step. So, how about you Aisha? Okay, for me, I choose to study computer science mainly because of my family. Just like what Vari said in his point, um, he said that computer science has been his passion since when he was a little kid. So for me, in my case, it's kind of the same because my parents are both um, they both have careers related to computer science. So practically, I've been raised in an environment where my parents would encourage me to join certain workshops such as an Arduino course back in 2019. So since that day, I've been more interested in pursuing computer science and finally, I ditched my original plans of becoming an engineer. So the second wow. reason, yeah, that's why. So the second reason is because the skills I learned during study will be applied directly to my career um, in the future. So based on the slide, we can see that the list of in-demand skills as of now and in the future are mostly related to computer science. So you can see here there's AI, data science and analytics, cybersecurity and cloud engineering. So these in-demand skills are essential to upskill my, myself and to make myself ready for future of jobs of the future. So the third reason is probably the most popular um, purpose of 
studying computer science which is due to high job demand so based on this slide you can see that the most popular job title among among LinkedIn in members is software engineering so uh, you can see here also the first high job demand in the list is computing and information technology so yeah that's re um that's all i can say for my reasons what about you sabrina uh, as for me i'm interested in computer science because i enjoy the problem solving aspect and how it really gives satisfaction whenever i could figure out the solutions and successfully solve the problems furthermore a uh, computer science theoretical side is mathematical of which mathematics is my favorite subject other than that with the launch of Majors for IR on the 1st July 2021, I believe there will be a large demand in this area as it is the country's policy to drive its integrated effort in transforming our socio-economic development through the use of advanced technology of IR. Moreover, these days, more jobs require technological skills. So, talking about computer science and information technology, I also would like to know about your further study. Let's start with you, Ashif. Thank you for, for your information, Sabrina. Uh, so, uh, as Sabrina said, the second question is about how, where what we want to further in our study. So, for me, uh, I want to uh, further my study in foundation in computer science or any relatable courses. After finishing my foundation, I will pursue my study in a Bachelor of Computer Science specialization in game development. Why game development? I really well for me. I really love to to play games, uh, whether it's PC games, console games, and even mobile games. As a gamer, I would really love to try to make my own game and let everyone play and enjoy the game that I'll be making. Uh, for the second reason, uh, I see in Malaysia there is a lack of game developers. So I believe that if I were to be a successful as a game developer, I can contribute to my country by bringing it up its name in the gaming in the gaming industry from this more people will be interested in the gaming industry and continue on pursuing to become a game developer so how about you Vari? what will you fur study further in oh about me um well i will further my studies at mmu however as much i love it specializing in software engineering where i can test and become a developer i want to specialize in cyber security so, I'm furthering my studies in Bachelor of Computer Science specializing in cybersecurity. What is cybersecurity, you may ask? Well, cybersecurity is a professional field that covers the fundamentals concept of underlying the construction of secure systems that includes information, hardware, software, and networks. The reason why I want to specialize in cybersecurity is because I want to advance my existing IT knowledge and turn my desire to protect important data and network security into my dream job. As mentioned before, cybersecurity specialists play a key role in securing informatic systems by, mon by monitoring, deleting, investigating, analyzing, and responding to security events. Cybersecurity specialists protect systems from cybersecurity risk, threats, and vulnerabilities. Believe it or not, but the demand for cybersecurity professional is soaring. Companies are listing more cybersecurity jobs and paying higher salaries than ever because it is difficult to find strong, qualified, talented people in this industry. Well, that's all for me. So, how about you, Aisha? Um, Vari, I just wanted to ask a question. May I ask? Yes, sure. Why take cybersecurity if you love software engineering? I think it's a waste of time pursuing something you don't love. Oh, the reason why I don't want to specialize in software engineering, um, well, it's because I actually had experience in software engineering and it's kind of boring. Um, however, it's just my opinion. Oh, well, I see that um, cybersecurity may be your passion. So I think that's why you're more interested in taking it. So yes, for true. me, I think I'm more interested in taking software engineering because I have interest in software development and design. So I choose to further my studies, uh, my bachelor degree in software engineering. So based on the education pathway in my slide, so right now I'm in my foundation 
and then I will further my studies in software engineering and then if I have the chance I will take my master's degree in software systems engineering or anything related to systems and software so software engineering basically it focuses on designing and developing software systems with innovative methods and sophisticated tools so during this course students are exposed to various techniques of analyzing user requirements and specifications and also designing implementing and verifying software systems so that's about it so i'm very interested in taking software engineering and based on the slide here these are the subjects that i will take and yeah what about you sabrina how about you for me, I would like to further my study to a better degree in computer science in which I will learn about fundamental computing knowledge and the latest technologies throughout three to four years of the program. Same as Bari, during the degree program, I would like to take cybersecurity as my specialization. Uh, throughout the years of learning as a bachelor degree student, I can possibly polish my math skills and also my problem solving skills to prepare myself for the industrial training. Industry training is where I can gain practical industry experience before I step into the first stage of my career life. Anyways, I chose cybersecurity because of having the curiosity to know more and go deeper about it after experiencing it myself and also seeing other people getting cyber attacks which are increasing worldwide. If I have the chance to become one of the developers, I would like to transform the cybersecurity of our country to the advanced level yeah, to the advanced level. As for now, what is the job that you will have to take in the future? Thank you for the information, uh, Sabrina. Uh, for my job that I want to take in uh, in the Computer Science and Information Technology Group. Well, for me, I really want to be a game developer. However, before I start my journey as a game developer, I would still like to find experiences in any IT jobs related because I still don't want to waste and all the knowledge of IT and computer science that I learned before. After getting some experience, I would really like to join game companies such as Riot Games, Blizzard, Nintendo who have made lots of fantastic games like Valorant, Overwatch, Super Smash Bros and other games. It will be a dream come true if I can join those big game companies or any other companies out there. So, I've told you about my dream job now. How about your dream job, Mary? Wow, that's actually an interesting dream job, Asha. Okay, um, well, for me, I want to be an ethical hacker or penetration tester. Of all the interesting careers in the field of information technology and computer science, the critical role of ethical hacker is one of the most fascinating career pathways for me. You may be asking yourself, then what's the difference between ethical hacker and pen tester? Um, well, they are basically the same thing. Um, the term ethical hacker is often used to describe the work of pen testers, whose job involves infiltrating computer systems to detect and address vulnerabilities that non-ethical hacker could exploit and to cause untold havoc. This job requires me to possess cutting-edge technical skills, communication skills, and also confidence. Because part of the job is to outsmart someone who is very savvy, bad, bad guys out there as the stakes grow higher and higher every day. But what does a penetration tester do. Of course, the primary objective of ethical hacker is to identify security weaknesses in both systems and policies. Therefore, to excel this role, you need a wide range which, inc uh, which includes exceptional problem solving and coding skills, comprehensive knowledge of computer security, and insight of how hacker exploit information to gain access, and a very clear understanding on how computer security breaches can disrupt businesses, including financial and management implication. In addition to the skills described above, an unwritten part of my job description as a penetration tester also includes an ability to think like the enemy. 
in order to combat full range of techniques and strategies that hacker might employ, or even anticipate new ones. Cool, right? Yeah, I think your um, career pathway is very interesting because I've never heard about a penetration tester before. So mm -hmm. for me, um, my career pathway, uh, based on the slide, uh, you can see here the graduate destinations for software engineering. The percentage is high for employed graduates. So uh, like I said earlier, um, most people pursue computer science because of the high job demand. So we can see here, um, this proves, this data proves that point. So um, for my education pathway, first I'll need to take a proper education, of course. And then second, I will take my industrial training or internship. And then third, the third step is uh, finally taking a step into the real career. And then uh, sometimes uh, companies will send their employees to coding boot camps or maybe taking professional certificates, which I will explain later. But yeah, this is basically my career pathway that I plan to take. So I will focus more on the industrial training because I think this industrial training slash um, internship is a vital experience in our life or our career pathway because industrial training um, allows students to apply the skills that they learned in their course and also learn new ones while helping um, students build their network. So I think industrial training will give a good work experience to students. And so um, I choose to take a job in the computer software field and the job title is software engineer. So the professional organizations and groups that I plan to take is one of it is called ACM, which is short for Association for Computing Machinery. And the second one is BISKI. And I think it's important to join several professional organizations to upskill your career and also build network between professionals. So yeah, I'm curious about your career pathway, Sabrina. How about you? So for me, the jobs in the computer science group that I plan to join are either cybercrime investigator or cryptanalyst. How I can describe these jobs is that cybercrime investigators investigate when information is stolen from a computer, network, web application, cell phone or another digital device while cryptanalysts develop mathematical methods and codes that protect data from computer hackers. Since I am also interested in investigating, these jobs suit me the best with my interests. By the way, in 2020, the top cybercrimes affecting businesses and individuals are phishing scams, website spoofing, ransomware, malware, and IoT hacking. Since these cases are increasing, those jobs are highly demanded to help overcome them. The well-known group based on the jobs that I would like to join is the Cybersecurity Malaysia under the Ministry of Communication and Multimedia Malaysia that is committed to provide a broad range of cybersecurity, innovation-led services, programs and initiatives to reduce vulnerability of digital systems and at the same time strengthen Malaysia's self-reliance in cyberspace. So for your career growth, what certifications would you like to take? Just wow, Sabrina. Okay, thanks again, Sabrina, for your information. Uh, so, for the professional certificate that I plan to take is Microsoft Technology Professional, uh, or MTA for short. These certificates covers a wide range of subjects, which are IT infrastructure, which include the fundamentals of Windows Server administration, networking, and cybersecurity, and also developer including software development, web development, gaming, and HTML5. To be honest, even game development needs the basic knowledge of IT. Why? We need to know all the programming software for making games like Unity and Unreal Engine. So, in the end, the certification is still very important to, to even the game developers. I myself only have one certification that I am planning to take, but there are a lot more certifications out there. So how about yours, Barry? 
Wow, okay. So, as we all know, um, it is important to have a professional certificate because certification is being the process of verifying the, techni the technical knowledge of an individual who has demonstrated competence in a particular area. In this case, me being an ethical hacker. Therefore, the professional certificate that I'm planning to take is COMTIA Pentest Plus by COMTIA. COMTIA Pentest Plus is for cybersecurity professionals tasked with penetration testing and vulnerability management. Pentest Plus assesses the most up-to-date penetration testing and vulnerability assessment and management skills necessary to determine the resili resiliency of network against attacks. The COMTIA Pentest Plus certification will verify me as a candidate who has the knowledge and skills to plan and scope a penetration test such as understanding legal requirements, performing vulnerability scanning and testing, produce a written report and communication results to the management team and also provide practical recommendations. Not only that, the Pentest Plus is compliant with the International Organization of Standardization and it is approved by the US Department of Defense. To put it in simple terms, this certificate is recognized worldwide which makes hiring process easy as employers are looking for talented employees with certified certificate. So, how about you, Hi, uh, Nabila? Okay, for me, uh, I think computer science certifications are important for one's career pathway in computer science because these certifications, they ask candidates to pass one or more tests. So in preparing to pass these credentialing exams, professionals gain and practice certain skills. So many professionals value the process of preparing these tests since they gain the knowledge that they can apply in their jobs and they use their skills that they learn to advance their careers. So the examples of certifications that I'm interested in taking is Microsoft SQL Server Certification, which is a certification for database and data technology. So as you can see in the slide here, there's um, several levels of the certification. So there's the entry level, associate level, and also expert level. For systems, there's um, a, certificate, a certificate from Oracle, which is called the Oracle Exa Data Certificate. And for software, there are two certificates that I'm interested in taking. One is also from Oracle, which is called the Application Express 18, and also from Cisco, which is called CCNA Routing and Switching Certification. So that's about all the certifications that I'm interested in taking. So what about you, Sabrina? I'm curious about your certifications. As for me, um, the professional certificate that I plan to take is the Certified Hacking Forensic Investigator, also known as CHFI, which is under the International Council of Electronic Commerce Consultants, uh, EC Council Association. The program equips me with the necessary skills to proactively investigate complex security threats, allow me to investigate, record and report cyber crimes to prevent future attacks. Uh, to obtain the CHFI certification without the training, it is mandatory to have two years of work experience in the field of information security because CHFI has challenging exams. Uh, the certification is valid for three years, as said by the organization. Um, other than that, I am also planning to take the Certified Information Forensic Investigator, which also known as CIFI, which is either under the International Information System Forensics Association or International Information and Communication Technology Council. However, um, IICTC does not have any training, about, but applicants are recommended to take an optional training course from a registered or accredited training service provider. Uh, the topics covered in the examination include cybercrime, preparing and planning a computer investigation, computer forensic tools, and acquiring and handling of computer evidence. All these certifications can add more skills which are beneficial to my career growth. So, um, based on our discussion just now, it seems like we all have high demand job, high job demand in our, one of our points for why we choose to study computer science. Also, we have the same interest to pursue our 
study in computer science even though we have different specializations. Uh, it is good to know that each of us have our own plans for the future. For our career pathways, we can conclude that our careers are mostly based on our degree specialization. Uh, other than that, the certifications can help to boost our professional credibility that increases our opportunities in the job market. Also, we acknowledge the purpose of 4IR and make a better plan for it and also for ourselves. So that's all from us. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>